Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back to Ghost Bros. Ghost Bros. Oh, yeah. We're here with Nightcall. Yeah, we're play, playing a game called Nightcall and uh, don't what? really know anything about it, but it looks like it's in France. It looks interesting. Eiffel Tower is right there, so we're uh, French. We're French. We're from France. Oh, a free roaming on this? Free roaming. I don't. All right. I need game. to. Uh, we need to experience the game first, and then maybe we'll understand. <coughs> understand why free roaming. Okay. Because you get free roaming, that means it's a big atmosphere. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, you get to choose them. Judge victims. Have all something See, I in common, and the motives seem clear, but so which respect you? You think you're supposed to? I've done it. Balance scale. I don't fucking know. You would say, "Oh, you're supposed to do it in order," but they let you pick. Maybe do it in order, dude. Okay, let's do it in order, dude. We'll be linear, dude. We're gonna be like story. Your, your normal we'll story. Guys. Yeah, I want a story, dude. I want some like deep, gushy, gushy, or. Juicy. That's what I meant juicy. to say. Juicy. Some juicy details. You don't say gushy. Nice, gushy details. Yeah, if you say gushy details, Monkey Moon, that's a good name. Monkey Moon. Raw, Raw Fury. Fury. Raw Furry. Yeah, those are some good names. I like this music. Yeah, I like the soundtrack. Oh. Like everything, though. Like even like the sound effects Kinda. of the train and everything all mixed together. That seems well made. Dude, this is cool. This is pretty cool, dude. I don't know. We're just getting into this. I'm already enjoying it. Alright. What do you just turn off? Whoa, that's his meter the radio. for radio. Maybe that was his meter for like just tracking how far he's driving so he can charge someone. Is that Markiplier? Is that Markiplier? Hello everybody! I don't know why he said that. He's like a little bit more fire. He does, man. He looks sort of like a. He does. All of Costco. The fuck? You mean Al Pacino? Who am I talking about? Al Pacino? And Serpico? Who am I talking about? It looks like Al Pacino and Serpico. The dude with Al The Pablo Costco. Here? Strong. Oh. Sir? Sir? Alright, you do one voice, I'll do the other. Can you hear me, or do I need to speak up? Okay, what are you gonna say? Uh, yes, speak up. You're fine. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, you, you're, you're fine. Sir, you just spent two weeks in a coma. Dun dun dun! The word bounces around your head. You need a moment to understand its meaning. Yeah, we're, we're getting coma? Getting juicy. The word scratches along your throat. Yes, you were the victim of an assault. The word resonates in your head. Victim. You are aware I see a killer is currently on the loose in Paris. Paris. Of course, of course there's a serial Paris. killer on the loose in goddamn London. No, in Paris. Well, yeah, that too. But... No, no, Matt, you just... It, ju it just said a killer's on the loose in Paris. Or do you... Where did you come to the conclusion? Well, London's that... in Paris. Continue. You feel the contents of your stomach crawling up your throat. The fuck? WTF, bro. The judge, as the police called a killer, assaulted you. The bullet touched your liver. And in most circumstances, it would have been fatal. But lucky for you, you didn't drink. We chose to put you in an induced 
Oh, this is a lady. Oh, oh. you're supposed to be a oh. lady. Okay, but this is her your head. Her voice no, becomes no, this, more. <laughs> this is your head talking to you. Her voice becomes more distant, fades. You taste bile at the back of your mouth. Your head is burning. You hear a whistle in one ear. Your fingers move to your wound. Underneath the bandages, you feel. Hard skin. It is incredibly painful. Ah! Today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today, catch the judge. No. <laughs> Do not. Getting into this, dude. I don't understand what's going on, but that's maybe. What about the cops? Part of the dealio milio. You know? The doctor is silent for a second. A very awkward second. She hesitates. The police want to hear as many as possible to ask you some questions. After all, you're the only one who's right for the judge. Noise in the hallway attracts your attention. You try to turn on your head. Turn. Yeah. Try to turn on your head. You try to turn your head to no avail. I could not have turned on my head. You need to rest. That's probably what the problem was. She leaves the room. Her That's voice resonates right. in the hallway. I don't care. Oh, wait. Doctor. Oh, sorry. I don't care. It's you, witness. It's... Another female voice joins in. A strong, authoritarian oh, voice. You can't clearly make up what she's saying. A strange feeling washes over oh, no voice. you. Bummer. I thought I was narrating this, but Bummer. apparently not. It's not pain, not fatigue. Some odd combination of the two. Before being in this hospital room, you never realized that anger was made up of a combination of pain and exhaustion. Anger. A feeling you know all too well. Days go by, and a month later, you murdered your wife. I mean, oh. Oh, this is a Five Nights at Freddy's game? Night one, dude. Oh, I what? Hey, th wait, th what? I didn't oh, know what I... Look, I got a bit of a problem. <laughs> a real problem, there it is. You have a pounding headache, and it's your first night behind the wheel since. Since the attack. Are you listening to me? You catch your boss's eye in the rearview mirror. Sorry. I just want things to get back to normal. To clear my head, to stop thinking about it all. He's watching you closely, trying to make out what's going on in your head. You know, I'm worried about you, don't you? I know. You're like a son to me, you know. Are you? I know. I know he's about to yell, to, to yell at you, <laughs> to tell you the story of his taxi fleet again. When my father died and left me the store, I could have sold it. I could have retired. Could have gone back to the old country. But I decided to start a cab fleet with the money he left me to hire the guys from the neighborhood, from all around the neighborhood. They were all good guys. And that's why I've got four to five guys like you working for me. His hands flutter in the air. <laughs> Though none of them are any match for you. 
He smiles. His voice suddenly takes on a serious note. He points to the equipment on the dashboard, the meter, the GPS. You haven't been in a taxi for weeks. Maybe you do need a little refresher. Yeah, good idea. Right then, we'll first the map. You spot potential customers and try to guess where they'll be going. Then you decide. When a customer orders a taxi, if there's no one else around, you have to go pick them up. He shrugs. That's the way it goes. It's business. No problem. The other fares, you look at the map and then decide whether or not you want to take them. And then, you drive. He flashes a quick, mechanical smile. You know it well. When he talks about work, he talks about work. That's all. When your shift is over, we do the numbers, man. His voice trails off as if searching for the right words. And that's all? It's pretty simple. There's no reason you can't do that, right? <laughs> now, he, now he's southern again. <laughs> no, he was serious before. Now he's not serious anymore. Oh, okay. Anymore. So, 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 so he's not southern anymore. No, he's still southern. Oh, okay. He's a weird southern. Oh, right. No overtime. We in France here. Ain't no rules. Ain't no regulations. There are no rules. You might not see it that way. But one like having a driver who, who hasn't slept for 24 hours ain't, ain't good. Ain't good, boy. I tell you that right now. You're going to start, you, <laughs> you, you start uh, fucking equating your position in your life to other things and trying to make a... Uh, you you going to try to uh, uh, enhance yourself, so to speak. And let's not do that. You, you need sleep. He looks away. Something's been bothering him since he got into the cab. Anyhow, you know the ropes. You get it. I know you're going to do a good job. What's the matter? Your boss keeps quiet for a while, as if he, if he's hesitant to speak, and then... I don't think it's a good idea. You shouldn't be driving. <laughs> well, I swear that DUI I had last month that was my I was in just an accident and it won't happen ever again, I swear. But, but oh boy, uh, those kids. They were just kids. Wait, well, it was just one little boy. <laughs> the murderer still out. And they there. didn't press charges. The murderer. They didn't press charges, I swear. That's not what I'm talking about. It was one little kid, and they didn't press charges. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. You killed some kid? No, 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 no. Go on. Get, get, what, what were you saying? Go ahead. Okay. Anyway, to get back on top, the mother is still out there. And we think he's going to come back for you. Oh, because are you killing them kids? That makes sense, because you killed those kids. Maybe. Your boss pulls himself up to up a little straighter. You can sense he's trying to control himself, trying not to get upset. Maybe he'd been told to go easy on you. He holds your gaze, then turns away. You know... I can't put you on a day shift or send you out to the suburbs away from it all. You shake your head no. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'll let you get back to work. 
every minute spent in your taxi is a minute lost. He gives you half a smile. Uh, he gives you a smile, half ironic, half serious. You can count on me, sir. He scratches an invisible stain on an armorist. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. I know. That's the problem. <laughs> he smiles. Your boss opens the door and exit the cab. You watch him cross the street and enter the fleet garage. A couple of colleagues are milling about. <laughs> okay. Taxis are coming and going. They all ignore you. Cautious, con consciously or unconsciously. You are branded. What the fuck does that mean? You sit there a moment. Then turn the key in the ignition. In the ign ignition. The hum of the engine sends a tingle down your spine. Oh, got a motorhead. <laughs> got a motorhead. It's impossible to describe how you miss that feeling. It's like it's back to the like, night shift. Just jacks back to the life. Of fucking hot rods and Despite shit. Despite the like, attack. Guys, Despite it all. Hello? Alright, so... Alright, so I gotta go get this guy. Right? I yeah. Don't... I guess so. Alright, uh, do I... So I'm not actually driving. It doesn't look like it. Oh, okay, that's Oh, so that's this is nice. one of the... So we're just gonna talk to people the whole so, game? Sure. Is this one of them games? So there is no gameplay. All right, so yeah, we're, we're gonna end this part we're here. Gonna hold up, right this here. This is it's pretty sweet, yeah, juicy, it's getting pretty cool. It's actually pretty getting sweet and juicy, dude. I mean, I guess pretty it's pretty interesting. <laughs> it might just end up being a All novel. Right, so I, I don't think there's any gameplay. He doesn't seem but, like yeah, it. Yeah, but it seems fun. It seems like a cool story. So I'm into it for some weird so, reason. Yeah. So thank y'all so much for watching. And then if you want to see more of this. We'll play it. Uh, no, well, no, I mean, no, we're no, going to play no more of this we'll, despite what yeah, you yeah, fucking I mean, want. It doesn't matter I mean, what they want. It doesn't I mean, fucking I mean, matter what you fucking want. That. We're going to play it anyway, okay? So, sh so see y'all guys next time. Yeah, oh, guys, please excuse his rashness. We do all love you, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> see you guys.